In the vast expanse of the cosmos, where stars are born and die in the blink of an eye, one man's mind soared beyond the known, challenging the very fabric of space and time. Get ready to be inspired by a mind that dared to ask the biggest questions, and a heart that never gave up. This is the story of Stephen Hawking, a true legend of science. Don't miss it. The journey of a lifetime begins here. Stephen Hawking was one of the most renowned theoretical physicists and cosmologists of the 20th and early 21st centuries. His work on black holes and the nature of the universe revolutionized the field of cosmology, and his ability to communicate complex scientific ideas to the general public made him a household name. Hawking's life was marked by a rare combination of brilliance, resilience, and a unique sense of humor that endeared him to people around the world. Stephen William Hawking was born on January 8, 1942, in Oxford, England, coincidentally on the 300th anniversary of the death of Galileo. His parents, Frank and Isabel Hawking, were both graduates of Oxford University. Despite his family's academic background, Hawking was not an exceptional student in his early years. He attended St. Albans School, where he was known for his curiosity and clever retorts, rather than his academic achievements. After completing his degree at Oxford, Hawking moved to Trinity Hall, Cambridge, to pursue a PhD in cosmology. It was during this time that he was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, at the age of 21. Doctors gave him a prognosis of two years to live. Hawking's scientific career took off in the 1960s and 1970s, during which time he made several groundbreaking discoveries. In 1970, he proposed the four laws of black hole mechanics, which were analogous to the laws of thermodynamics. This work laid the foundation for the later discovery that would make him famous, Hawking radiation. In 1974, Hawking theorized that black holes were not completely black, but emitted radiation due to quantum effects near the event horizon. This discovery challenged the notion that nothing could escape from a black hole, and introduced the idea that black holes could evaporate over time. Hawking's work on black holes and the Big Bang Theory led to significant advancements in the understanding of the universe. In 1988, he published A Brief History of Time, which became an international bestseller. The book was written with the intention of making complex scientific concepts accessible to the general public, and it succeeded in doing so, captivating readers around the world. Despite his physical limitations which progressively worsened due to ALS, Hawking continued to work and travel extensively. He used a wheelchair, and later in life, communicated through a speech-generating device. His voice, synthesized by the device, became one of the most recognizable sounds in science. Hawking's contributions to science were not limited to his research and writings. He was a member of the Royal Society, the UK's National Academy of Science, and held the position of Lucasian Professor of Mathematics at the University of Cambridge from 1979 to 2009. This chair was once held by Isaac Newton and is one of the most prestigious academic positions in the world. Stephen Hawking passed away on March 14, 2018 in Cambridge, England. His ashes were interred in Westminster Abbey near the graves of Sir Isaac Newton and Charles Darwin. Hawking's final scientific paper, which he co-authored, was published posthumously. Hawking's life was a testament to the human spirit's ability to overcome adversity. His work has left an indelible mark on the field of cosmology, and his efforts to popularize science have inspired generations to look up at the stars and wonder. Stephen Hawking's legacy is not just in the equations he wrote or the theories he proposed, but in the way he lived his life, with courage, humor, and an insatiable curiosity about the universe.